today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing my first video for this week Yeah, because it's Monday when I'm in my time space <laughs> I am doing a video with Nabla I have done a user's place week before and now I'm doing a Nabla video A Nabla video week Because I have all the 7th palettes and I am going to do stuff with all of these palettes And it's going to be 4 first impressions on this week and free I think palette bingos and I really hope that you will like this I just want to use all of these palettes and just do it fast and I'm starting this week with one of the cutie palettes and this is the nude cutie palette it comes in this little plastic sleeve and it looks like this. One thing I love about Nabla is that they do all the palettes in paper, cardboard. I really like it. So this is one of the mini palettes. It has a good mirror and it's only six shades in this. And I don't know what to do. And it's no matte in this. So I don't know. Maybe this was a bad idea. So the palette looks like this. And... And this, it is a new formula. I don't know if it's a latex formula. But I think I will swatch these so you can see how they look. So these are the colors and the black one looks amazing. Um, so yeah, these are the colors and I will just... I think I know what I want to do. It feels like these two are kind of matte. And that was latex nude and no doubts. So yeah, these are the colors and I will think what I will do and then I start with my first impression. Okay, I think I actually will try to use all of the shades in this. So I will start with latex nude and try to take it in my crease and hope that this works. It's going to get picked up on the brush. Yes, and maybe this won't work because it is like more of a shimmer shade. I want to try. Because I still feel like this is a six pan palette and I think you should be able to do a look with only this. And I was not planning on buying this palette but people have talked so good about the cutie palette. Both this volume one and the volume two. And then <laughs> around Christmas they were half off on Beauty Bay and I had was going to be able to buy some more things last year. So I was like, okay, if I ever going to buy them, now it's a good time. I think it kind of works. Okay, something like this, but I actually think that I will try to take no doubts in my crease as well I think it works it's doable maybe it's not like the best solution and I <laughs> it was going if I wanted to make it easy for me I could just go in with matte shades but this actually work it's not Perfect, and it feels like I need to go in with much more but it actually works and then I am going in with plastic this black one because I'm doing a halo eye today and if you have been here before you know that I love my halo eyes so I'm doing this and when I swatch this this looked amazing and I really hope that the amazingness can shine through or show when I'm doing a halo eye. It feels like a little bit of 
struggle to have it like opaque. And I think I'm starting to get a cold. <sighs> I really hope not because I don't want to be sick now if I'm going to make a whole week of videos. I usually do one eye at a time. But I think I will try to do both eyes at the same time because my halo eyes aren't that even. Even though I don't think it matters that much because I don't have my eyes have different shapes. I like this black, but it feels like it crumbles a little bit. And now they are not even. I just go with this and then I take it in my inner corner and I am a little bit nervous about this if I'm going to be honest. Because it feels like I need to, I can't just like put it down this black. I need to like drag it a little bit. Okay, this works. It's working, it's working, it's working. Okay, and for my halo, I will take Glorious, this gold one. Because if there's one thing I love, it's gold and black together. And now we'll see, I don't think... Maybe I sh should have looked up what different kind of formulas it is in this palette but I didn't because I don't work like that okay, it feels like maybe I would want it lyrically with this more maybe not maybe it just needs some packing on You can see a difference between the eyes, I really hope. Because I can. If I should have used some glitter glue, I think it would have popped like from the start. And now it's... It's doable. It's buildable, but if... With the glitter glue, I think it would have gone so much faster and easier, but... I think I actually like this. I go in with the brush that I took the black on and just... It doesn't feel like when you do... If you do a halo eye with two like more shimmer shades, it feels like you don't need to blend them together that much because it normally does that by itself. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm a little bit lost today. Okay, I think I am done with lids like this and I... I like it. Maybe I want to build up the black a little bit more out here. But it doesn't feel like this is like pitch black shade so maybe this is as dark as it gets I really like it though but it's not like pitch black so yeah I will take away the fallouts fix my base and then I come back and I have two shades left I haven't used these two so moonlight and seducer um, the other four I have used, so I will fix my base and then I come back and we do the under eyes. Okay, so time for the under eyes, and I will take 
I had these two left, so I will take this on the most of my under eye and take this in my inner corner and I will spray both of these. I think, because I don't want any fallouts. Yes, I will spray them. Maybe. I will try without spraying. At least the one I'm taking on the most part, which is Seducer. Is it even called that? And this actually works. Without spraying, so that's always good. Okay, and now I will take Moonlight, this one, and put it in my inner corner and I will actually spray this. Okay, so let's see what this goes for. here on the black as well okay so I like this look I will put something in my wash line put on mascara and something on my lips and I will take a nobble lip before this I think I just have to decide which one of the ones I have so I will fix that and then I'll come back so, this is the finished look for my wash line. I used a pen from H&M in Grand Cru. It looks disgusting, but it's actually really good. And for my lips, I used Blair from Nabla. So yeah, this is my first impression finished look with a cutie, cutie palette Nude Volume 1. And I have used all of the shades, and <laughs> I think this is a good palette. I don't know if I am like blown away by the new formulas. I <laughs> checked a little bit on the new formulas before and I think like this black, it's latex black. No, latex matte and I don't know what I think. It's dark, it's almost black, it's not pitched black but I have nothing to complain about. I think though it's easier to like not do like detail works with it, just do a bigger surface or you have to pack it on pretty much. But I have nothing to complain about at all with this palette and I like that this was, I was able to put it underneath my eyes even though I didn't spray my brush. And these two the one and this that I had in my crease, it worked. I think this was a little bit better in the crease than this one. But yeah, I, I think it's a good palette. I have nothing to complain at at all. And I like the size of it. And I like um, the packaging. If you want these colors, buy it because it's good. I don't know if I'm going to use this like on its own so much. Um, but maybe like have this with me when I going somewhere and maybe want some shimmer shades. I really like it. So yeah, that was my first impression with the cutie palette and I really hope that you're looking forward to this week with only Nabla palettes. I don't know yet which palette is coming tomorrow. I think Soul Blooming. I'm not sure. We will see. But I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!